Salah satu lebih daripada itu yaitu semangat Where would you take your family in Johannesburg and why? Good evening everyone. Well, to tell you the truth, I've loved Africa. I would encourage anyone to visit Africa. We've had the, the chance to visit a couple of countries within Africa. But in Johannesburg, I can say that I loved the Lion Park. Because I'm in love with animals, and it was it was a very 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 great experience being able to feed a giraffe and touch a, the lion cubs. It's incredible. I have my own my arms open to anyone, and in Africa I can say that everyone is really really friendly, and they all have a good heart. Thank you. England of Miss World 2009 okay. is. Gibraltar. Benar-benar luar biasa. Kita tidak menyebutkan satu prediksi ya. Prediksi bahwa Miss Gibraltar ini lah yang akhirnya akan menjadi Miss Gibraltar 2009. Luar biasa. Baik pemirsa namanya adalah Kaya Nalborino, berusia 23 tahun, tidak masuk di unggulan. Tidak ada yang memprediksi bahwa banyak kejutan-kejutan yang terjadi selama di atas panggung. How do you feel this world? I have no words. I'm really happy. Ladies and gentlemen, the 59th Miss World is Gibraltar. Iya, saking gembiranya dia tidak bisa memberikan komentar apa-apa. Speechless ya. Dan dia sudah memakai mahkota kebanggaannya. Selamat. Selamat sore walk dalam konteks rasa kecantikan atau pejen. Semua harus semua. Well, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, the city of Jam. I like that you've used Janito because I don't tend to hear people from outside saying that word. But yes, we do um, feel very um, part of being Janito because it's different, no? because we don't feel or British or, or Spanish, really. We are Gibraltarian. And um, we do have our dictionary, we can, we can say like this, because some words are not English or, or not Spanish either. So we do have our culture really you know we have a mixture of, of both and it, we use it as janito can you give me an example of the janito phrase or expression uh, <laughs> there are loads of words i can say um bolija for example <laughs> bolija is sweet and in spanish it's caramelo but I, we grow up like saying bolija and you think it's that is a spanish word and then when you say it in spain you're like what <laughs> Oh, many things like um, gallina instead of pollo or chicken. So we have lots of words like this that we just grow up thinking that, that that's the way it's called. And then maybe when you're old and you go to Spain and you say these words, <laughs> they don't understand. Well, as being Gibraltar so small, I had to um, obviously just, uh, just speak about Gibraltar now, about where it was placed in the map and what type of culture we had. Because I used to speak Spanish and English and this made the people very confused. You know, they didn't think that it was a British colony because it was so close to Spain. Most people think that it's part of Spain. But people um, used to really like the way I explained Gibraltar because it didn't seem, although it's a very small place, but it doesn't feel strong because we can just cross the border. People thought maybe some of them thought it was an island, then I explained to them that it wasn't, it was a peninsula. So obviously we have um, Mor Morocco very close, we have Spain, so we have we have um, England just two hours by, by plane, so 
we don't feel claustrophobic here really we're just very, a very close community and we just feel safe it's a very safe environment i think it's the best part of gibraltar no? it's it's um something very important for you to feel safe at home no? it, it's not a big deal if you leave your window open one day no one's gonna rob everything inside it's that type of safeness that you feel at least i feel that and everyone is very friendly very open-minded we we are we we try to help each other everywhere maybe we have we see another gibraltarian in america no it's like we know we know each other from afar we can we speak very loud as well so we tend to to have our characters <laughs>